cloud-based power monitoring in the IoT, Rexel and Siemens, a powerful team. Please welcome on stage the Director for Business Development of the Rexel Group Germany, D Ricardo Radowski, and the Marketing Manager for Energy Management, Dominic Vega. Big hand of applause to the two. Thank you. Very brave. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Hi Ricardo. Ricardo, sorry. Hi, Hi Dominic. Hi. So, how are you? Good. You've already had a stroll on the fair and you had first impressions? Very impressive, yes. So, how, how is that? Do you have the feeling like this is topics where you're totally in already or is it a new thing, all this technology and, and activities around? No, it's definitely a topic that we are currently working on in Rexel as well. As well. So I think the, the fair shows everything what's going on currently in our business and it's very impressive, as I said already. That's good to hear. That's great to hear because we've been working quite a while to kind of set this, this exhibition up in our booth up. Um, Dominic. of course, we want to improve the quality, the standards, um, more or less everything for our customers. Talking about energy and transparency and make process more efficient. What are the current challenges concerning the topic of power distribution as we talk about power and digitalization? Well, maybe to start, the, the very backbone for digital production environments are of course the topics of automation and the topic of electrification. So we have to synchronize them. And this is a challenge, an ongoing challenge. We are solving that already. But now there comes another opportunity for us because we can synchronize it under the roof of digitalization. So bringing together the elements of electrification and automation is a key fact for us. Um, but of course, when we, when we see why we do that, we have new requirements from dynamic markets. We have the, the need for updating pro uh, products which are communicable. So, in the end, we have challenges to face, and they are somehow con uh, yeah, connected to a kind of complexity. So the biggest challenge for me, which I see, which we are facing today, and which we are solving with our products, is reducing this complexity and enhancing the usability for our customers. Talking about our customer, Ricardo, you were willing to come to Hanover Fair and talk about what we did for you. But maybe we tell our visitors here first, what is Rexel and what are you doing? Yeah, Rexel, uh, first of all, is a customer of uh, Siemens. And we have like 27,000 employees in 26 different countries, taking care that Rexel is the leading wholesale partner in uh, electrical engineering. And so we offer our clients a wide range of uh, sustain sustainable products and solutions. And so this will, uh, brings us to Siemens as well. Um, we mainly focused on the topics like IoT, immobility, um, maintenance, and of course, energy solutions. Energy solutions, that brings me back again to Dominic, my colleague. Which solutions did we provide? Well, Ricardo said it quite right. What we see with IoT, with a focus on IoT, is just that we have a lot of opportunities to go somewhere with applications, with different applications that serve the needs for our customers. So you mentioned something about predictive maintenance. Another topic is, of course, um, optimizing your power consumption with data transparency. And with data transparency, there come a lot of benefits along with. So data transparency, I mean, but which benefits come along with transparency in an energy flow? Well, transparency means you have a really close eye on your energy consumption and your demands. And by having a close eye on that, the very first thing which comes to my mind and probably to all of you is the topic of costs. You want to reduce costs. And this is realized by, for example, a streamlined consumption, which means you just need less energy and you reduce your costs. But also, which is maybe even more important for production environments, you reduce costs by enhancing fault tolerance. That yes. means you evaluate loads, you check your power quality in the net, and this is an enabler to enhance your, your fault tolerance in your, in your device. Yes. For example, I can give a good example, I think. Uh, we implemented uh, energy monitoring with all the different facets in one of our distribution centers, in one of our DCs in Maisach, close to Munich. And uh, now we are aware of where is really our energy flowing, you know, and we were 
not surprised, but it was like that is a big, big share, or that it has a big, big, that big share of energy consumption uh, in the area of lighting. We haven't expected that. So, and now the idea is to change a conventional lighting system into a very intelligent uh, lighting system, which will bring us a saving of like 80%. Seriously. So, seriously. 80% just yeah. by just by lighting. Being yeah, aware of for switch just the light for off. This, just for this share. And yeah, it's it's an intelligent system. So when you drive in with your forklift, the light goes on and behind you it will get off. It's not only switching light offs, but also this is a, a good example that you mentioned because even our staff, our employees are now more uh, aware of energy uh, focusing and consumption. So what they are doing now is really they, they, they're taking part of it and so of the idea and they switch the light off when they leave the office because um, there are some uh, still places where the light is not going Okay, so maybe they are waiting for a bonus system now <laughs> where you kind of give the money back because Good they've idea. been saving. <laughs> <laughs> it could be an idea. Okay. Well, Dominic, I really liked, I just want, no, don't want to interrupt you, but I really liked the last thought of him because he said it raised the awareness. And this is a crucial factor. Yes. Besides costs, you really raise awareness in your com company by implementing a power monitoring solution because you make values transparent. You, you make a transparency about what is the actual consumption and what monetary values are behind this energy consumption. And this is raising the awareness of the user in your company. And by that, this is really the foundation for being more if energy efficient. And energy efficiency is the crucial buzzword here, because energy efficiency is the topic from today. And when we talk about energy efficiency, another advantage which, uh, which I want to mention here, because you asked me about benefits, is with a power monitoring solution um, from Centron, from Siemens, you create the foundation for regular energy audits and you create the foundation for an operational energy management system according to ISO 50001 and 50003, which is very important for a lot of our customers. So you mentioned something like um, you've been deployed that already in the Rexel Group. What exactly has been deployed? So yes, currently we have like two distribution centers where we're working with uh, the solution of Siemens when it comes to energy monitoring. Uh, one is in Weisskirchen in uh, Austria, so they are a little bit ahead of the one uh, that we have close by Munich. And so we implemented like uh, 100 measuring devices uh, out of the 7KM pack uh, series and uh, energy monitoring um, software power manager within our DC in Meisach uh, and Weisskirchen as well, so it's uh, right. And yeah, the installation was quite easy because we had the experience already in another distribution center, and with the support of Siemens, it was quite an easy task to do. Easy. I mean, we're talking about 100 devices, you said. Yes. How can that be easy? I imagine like just installing one thing is sometimes really complicated and challenging. Well, it is quite easy because it is scalable, and this is a big advantage. You can start very easy, very simple with an entry solution, and you can grow with your solutions into very complex, very comprehensive systems, which we installed uh, at our customer Excel, for example, a very comprehensive solution with connection to the cloud. But you can enter easily, and this is a big advantage, especially for small and medium-sized enterprises, which just want to get their food into these topics of digitalization of industry 4.0. That, I mean, we're talking about digitalization and when we talk about data, of course, everybody's talking getting the data into the cloud and using it more intense and more wisely. So is there any um, idea of how to get the data in the cloud and how to use it? Yes, there is not only an idea, there is a solution. <laughs> um, I want to present two solutions. Like we have. The one side, usually our customers already are used to analyze the data locally with our uh, power monitoring software, Power Manager, you as well. Yes. And the Power Manager offers the opportunity to have a cloud interface so you can use your Power Manager to get those data into the cloud. Another very easy, very new solution is the 7KN Power Center 3000, a very new product which we launched this year at Hanover for you and the very big advantages, as we see here, is the easiness. You have your field devices on top, those little icons, so you have devices which are able to measure data, which are giving the data per communicable protocols through the, uh, to the Power Center 3000. The Power Center 3000 is like a data collector, so one single entry point, and it's also the 
the device which gives this data further on to the cloud, plug and play. So you don't have to have any knowledge, just use the Power Center 3000, put it in your, in your field, and you have the connection to the cloud. It all sounds logic, but I see one very, very special icon up there, which is the lock. Lock means it's locked, it's secure, <laughs> it's safe. What about that? It means it's secure, it's safe, and it, it, it is safe. Um, of course, cybersecurity is a sensitive, it's a very crucial topic for us and for our customer. Of course. Yes. Um, because, Definitely. of course, he wants his data safe. Um, I think the topic of cybersecurity is a very wide range. So we can start very high level with the Charter of Trust, where Siemens and other partners and governments are creating a common sense about cybersecurity for more than a year ago, I think. But we are talking here on the product level. So when I come to the Power Center 3000, our new IoT data platform, the cybersecurity is solved by a whole package of security measures. So of course, you have a login, which is user-based, so you are password safe. You have an encrypted connection, which means the connection is where HTTPS, which is connect, uh, encrypted connection. You have further measures, like you can set an access control, for example, via an IP filter. So you see, Cybersecurity doesn't have one answer, but it's a package, and you can feel safe if you have a device that is plug and play ready from us. So, Ricardo, it all sounds kind of really easy. It sounds logic. It sounds cool when um, Dominic is, is talking about the connection to the cloud. Um, was it that logic for you at Rexel to connect to the cloud as well? So yeah, we decided to connect to the cloud as well because of the cross-locational possibilities it's giving you. So it's easy to benchmark, in our case, one distribution center to the other one because they are comparable. So they should have, uh, the, they should have, have the same energy consumption in the end. So you can share uh, these kind of information because whoever is responsible in your company, so this guy might be sitting in our headquarters in Paris, so he's responsible for energy consumption, so you can compare the DC in Weisskirchen with the distribution center in Maisach to share best practices also because, for example, in the Austrian colleagues I already exchange the lighting systems. And for our customers, because we are selling these kind of solutions, of course, and our customers are coming mainly from the industry and the commerce part, so for them, especially when they are smaller companies, they don't have a big IT infrastructure. So to store data and to work with data and to make them intelligent, so a cloud solution definitely helps. But that more or less came um, as an accident to you, that you have a new business model which you sell to your customers now. Well, it's not, a, not really an accident. So this <laughs> was mainly focused that we are uh, uh, becoming, um, because our world is changing also when, when we speak about digitalization and industry 4.0. Uh, you can't stay just the classical wholesaler that we have been now for in Germany nearly 100 years. Next year, we, have, we celebrate our 100th birthday. So we have to shift as well, and that's what we did, or what we are currently doing as well. So we are mainly focusing now as a, uh, to be the full service provider that we will be um, with the help of energy consumption, uh, but also with uh, predictive maintenance topics um, and own app solutions. We developed an own app together with the colleagues of Austria or from Austria, uh, the Rexel Power app, which helps our customers to visualize uh, their energy consumption on every mobile device they have. So yes, it's not an accident, but this is what we are aiming for. So not really by surprise, but by a, a good choice, let's yes, say. Yes, for sure. OK, very cool. So new business models, is there anything more coming up um, to it and the, with the capability of what it's bringing along? You said um, you consult your customers, you have new ideas. Um, is there more? Kind of what you think what, what might come up with it? Um, yes, of course. As I said, the, the new possibilities uh, that these kind of cloud solutions are giving us is sharing data. Because data, as you know, it's, I think the, it will be the most important uh, good that you can have within the next years. So it's important. Um, as Dominic mentioned, it should be or it has to be safe. It was a reason why we chose MindSphere as well, because they were convincing us that the data there is safe. Uh, even more safe than you have it maybe on your own environment currently. So, and this kind of solution, this is what we are telling our customers. And yeah, the response is quite good. So, 
everyone knows that they have to do a next step into Industry 4.0 and we are helping and consulting our customers for it. Great. This is really great to hear also this collaboration that we really have a wonderful partnership with our customers in matter of uh, consultancy and really a, a joint partnership. Um, Dominic, maybe you can say some more words about that. Yes. Ricardo already said that the very most important points, as you asked him, um, is there anything coming more? Of course there comes more, but this is the exciting thing about digitalization we do not know yet. We create the basis by making data transparent, by digitalizing uh, the electrification in this case, and so the foundation is set. And this is the important point, because maybe the, what the future may bring are very much new, very many new um, opportunities from applications, like you said about probably, I think the next one is predictive maintenance, but this is just a guess. What we do now is making transparency and making the life easier when you want to keep a close eye on your power, monitoring on your demands, and when you want to reduce your cost and reduce complexity. That's great. I mean, um, one of the summits here at the fair is called Industrial Pioneers. I guess that's a good buzzword here as well. You guys were pioneers in working with us on this. It is. Rexel is truly a pioneer in this business field, I think, because they set a clear focus, as Siemens does, on digitalization and on IoT-based applications. And this is why this project was so fruitful, or is so fruitful, and I'm really looking forward to what will come up. Yeah, it was a good experience for us as well. So uh, with our company, the Rexel Industry Solution part is mainly focused on these kind of topics. And it was the first approach with a partner like Siemens is always good. And I think it was a quite successful story. And yeah, we're also looking forward to every next project that will come up there. OK, and we're curious as well what's going to be on stage next time at SPS or next Hanover Fair. Yes, really there will cool. something be. <laughs> um, where do we find the two of you on the booth and the Power app, for example? Well, of course, if you have really urgent questions, I think we will both stay around the, the yeah. stage a couple of minutes. But afterwards, I warmly welcome you straight ahead in this direction on the other side of the booth at the exhibit Electrification in the Digital Age, where the experts are standing, where we are uh, standing for the next time, and we're really looking forward to have interesting talks about it. Thank you. Perfect. So thanks to the two of you. Ladies and gentlemen, do use the chance, if you want to talk to these lovely gentlemen here, do use the chance either here next to the stage, or you might want to learn more about the Power App that you make it all the way to the other side of the booth. That's 126 meters you got to go. Um, so you definitely might want to know how to use your energy wisely and how to save your power for the rest of the day. So a big hand of applause to you. Thanks for our customer, okay. Rexel Ricardo Radovsky. Big hand of applause and Dominic Vega. Thank you. Thank you. Siemens, ingenuity for life.